In this last video of the Spiral Stairs series, I'm going to show you how to make the posts that will wrap all the way around the stair. And the way that I'm going to show you how to do this is by editing um, one of the treads through the block editor. So if you made a block and then repeated them, any change to you, that you make to the block will be updated in all of them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change my visual style to 2D wireframe. And then I'm going to go to the block editor. Here's the block that I made. All right, so what we'll do is we'll add three posts along this edge of the stair. Okay. Now what I need to do first is generate an arc right here. So I'm going to type in arc. And I'm going to select three points along the arc. Okay. Now if I go to 3D orbit to check and see where my arc is. I can see it's on the bottom of the tread. I want to move it up to the top. Okay. Now we're going to have three posts along here, but I need to divide them, divide the arc by six so that I get proper spacing all the way up the stair. So I'm going to use the divide command, click on the arc, and input six segments. If you don't see these little node points appear, try adjusting the value for PD mode. Um, I have mine set to 3, and if you still can't see them, try changing the value for PD size to something a little bit larger. All right, now I'm going to go back to top view, and I'll make the posts out of a box form. So I go to the Home tab, select Box, pick a point, and I'll then specify the other, the opposite corner by typing at 0.75 comma 0.75 comma 36. So this post will now be 36 inches high, and we might need to make adjustments, but we'll work with that for now. All right now, we need to put the box in place on the stair, and then rotate it as needed. So the first step is to move the box from its position to the first node point. So I'm going to go to a 3D view and I'm going to move this post from the midpoint I'm going to use the middle of two points function for this, the midpoint of the bottom of my post. You type in MTP and then you select two points. And then to get it to snap to that node, I need to type in NOD. All right, now I'll go back to top view. And you can see it's situated properly on here, but it just needs to be rotated. To get the proper rotation, I've drawn a line from the node point to the center of the, of the circle. And when I click on that line, it tells me the angle is 125 degrees. Now this is set to 90, so I know that by rotating it 35 degrees, I'll have the proper rotation. Rotate, select the object, choose the center of the object, and rotate 35 degrees. Okay, now I can erase this line. Then make copies of the object. You could also work with the polar array. And I'm copying from node to the middle node point. I'm not going to need all of those node points. And to the last one, And then do the same method for um, solving the rotation. Now I have all three drawn, and I've rotated them so that they're oriented to the center of the circle. You can close the block editor. So I've changed back to the conceptual visual style, and as you can see, there are three posts sitting on each of the treads. 
what we're going to need to do to, to finish this part up is to um, extrude the tops of these posts so that they meet the rail. So what you would do would be to, to measure the distance and then perform the extrusion. Now it's okay if the, um, the post goes into that railing because it would be one kind of welded um, member that, so if it's embedded in there, it would be hidden from view anyway. So you can use the face extrude extrude faces tool if you need to extend these some distance. So once you, you've checked the dimensions um, in the model, you can go to the block editor and it'd probably be best to zoom in to the tops of these posts. Click on the extrude faces tool pick the tops of these and make the adjustments as necessary. Now you might find that there's a little bit of trial and error involved in this process. You can close the block editor, save, check it again, and then come back if necessary. Okay, so now all of my posts are embedded within the railing. All right, and the last few steps would be to complete the railing at the top of the stair and then move this into your, your house model.